third grade. This is just a review for commas in addresses. So we've been working um, on commas in addresses with it looking in a long line, like stretched out. But there is another way to look at addresses. But let's review the first example. So example number one says Miss Kiefer, comma, 101 South Hartman Street, comma, Manchester, comma, PA. So when it's stretched out like this, you're separating each section with a comma. So the first part is the person's name. The second part is the street address. The third part is the city. And then the fourth part is the state. So that's why you have those commas there to separate it because it's all in one long line. But the second way to write an example um, of writing an address is how you put it on an envelope. So if you were mailing something to someone and you had to write out their address, this is how you would do it. So it says Miss Kiefer on the first line, then 101 South Hartman Street on the second line, and then Manchester, comma, PA, 17345. Those numbers are called a zip code. It, again, is just another way to help the mailman or mailwoman locate your house. So with this one, the only comma you need is in between the city and the state. Now here's the reason, because the other parts are separated by being on a separate line. So Ms. Kiefer is, a, is on its own line, 101 South Hartman Street is on its own line, but Manchester and PA are on the same line, so they still need that comma separating them. So again, example one, if it's all in one long line, you're using that comma to separate it. Example two, if it's separated by line, you only need a comma in between the city and the state, okay? You will see an example like that again in the future.